Welcome back to Pintech. I just finished restoring the mechanicals on the back of this vintage pachinko machine and I'm about to test them and the normal way I've done it in the past was to place a ball in one of the pockets in the front of the machine and see if it paid out and of course if it paid out you assume that everything's working just fine and I didn't think that was good enough I like to see all the me mechanisms working in the back to see if anything was loose or anything can uh, cause a jam and without a partner to put the balls in the front of the machine where you could stand back from this view and watch it it'd be very hard to do that because by the time you place the ball in the payout pocket and ran to the back of the machine the machine pretty much has already paid out the ball and the mechanisms were finished doing what they should do and you couldn't witness what was going on so I've come up with an idea that I'm not sure if anybody else who's worked on pachinko machines um, has or not they could chime in but I figured a way to keep the machine playing autonomously so I could view it from the rear and this is how I thought about doing it and I'll test that theory with this video for the first time um, when this ball hopper is filled with balls these are the balls that are paid out for wind when this hopper is filled with those balls, the machine functions perfectly. You can play the game and it pays out wins. When the machine go, hopper goes empty, the machine locks up. You can't play the game and you don't collect any winnings. So it's basically like a tilt and pinball until the hopper is refilled with balls again. So my idea was to lock out the machine by emptying the hopper, placing balls in the front of the machine into the pockets, where they would stack up and you can see here on the back of the machine where those balls reside now. These balls here came through the front of the machine and now they should each be a payout. So every time one of these balls goes through this payout mechanism right here that sorts out one ball at a time to be paid out, it triggers a bunch of mechanisms to pay out uh, I think it's seven balls per win for each ball so each ball will represent a payout of seven balls that you should get so they're just waiting there for the machine to be unlocked and how that's going to happen is by filling up the hopper and all the sequence should go and this should continuously pay out on its own um, until they're done until it all empties out of those one ball Before I started this video, I filled the hopper back up with balls. Right now it's filled with balls, and you're asking yourself, well, why isn't it paying out right now? Well, the reason is because of this. Zoom in if you can see it clearly enough with the light. Um, this mechanism right here is a gate, and what its um, job is to do is to keep the balls in the hopper and in this trough until they're needed by the machine. Um, there's a lever here on this gate that you could lock out um, the balls if you need to manually on your own. Say you were going to work on the machine in a pachinko parlor and didn't want the balls flowing through the machine all over the floor, you just simply uh, lock them out into the upper half of this machine right here in this ball hopper and trough. So if I release this lever here, the gate will open, the balls will flow th down through the machine, unlock it and it should start giving the payout sequence. So I haven't tried this theory before. Uh, maybe somebody else has done this, used this theory to um, observe the back of the machine in action when you're by yourself and you really want to go over the mechanisms. So let me release this lever. It's going to make a loud noise as the balls are very loud and it will go through the machine and it should start the um, sequence. So I'll release the gate and three, two, one.
and there it worked and you could see all the me all the mechanisms are working just fine um, if you'll notice here you saw that balls were coming out of here the winning balls these are in the hold area to be released for the payout they come down through the chamber here they drop on this ramp and as they do they hit this bell here that's the noise you heard then they flow down this ramp and I'm not sure if you could see in the camera well enough Let's see. yeah it's very hard to tell but they flow forward to the payout tray in the front of the machine and that's where you get your balls so they come through this lever hit this bell and then go to the payout tray and let me show you I'll take the camera off the tripod and go to the front of the machine and this is where your balls wind up so you can see everything was working just fine I'm glad this technique works I'll use it from now on to check the mechanisms and see that everything's flowing smoothly like it just did. That's what you want to happen. You'll notice all the balls that were here, the payout balls have all been paid out nice and neatly. All the, the hopper from the upper hopper flowed to the ball payout hopper automatically like they should. And everything worked just fine. Everything's smooth, nothing was loose or anything like that. Um, maybe one point of note, let me put the camera back on the tripod, is you'll notice there's no wiring for electric right now, and there's no lamp sockets in. Uh, usually I do that work after I'm completely finished refurbishing the machine. I do the wire harness and the electric at, at the end. That's the simplest thing to do. And um, all the electricity is for is actually not... If, it's not to operate the machine. I uh, convert the machines to run off a 9-volt battery and they're simply for the lights. You have a jackpot light here and up here is a low ball hopper light. So when this goes low, not only does it lock the machine up, this light will come on to let you know that the um, hopper needs to be filled. So that's all the um, electricity is for us, just to light the jackpot light. Every time you get a jackpot, this light will flash and low hopper and this comes on. That's all you need the um, battery for. Otherwise, as you can see, the machine plays by itself strictly through gravity and all the linkages of these mechanisms which are all very finely, finely balanced. Actually, they're balanced so well that they are balanced to the very, very light weight of the balls. And it's the weight of the balls that literally make all these mechanisms operate just by the way they flow and the weight of them it causes levers to shift which causes rods to activate other mechanisms and so on so anyway this is a long-winded video and it's my new way of testing the rear mechanicals of a machine after I've done the restoration um, then I'll go on to the front of the machine and restore the front of that and then the uh, once everything's working 100%, I'll redo the frame. And then the wiring harness and the electric, and it'll be good to go. Um, so, if you like the video, please give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. If you'd like a pinball machine or pachinko machine repaired or restored, just contact me at pintech at mail.com. Hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.